Hi and welcome to the No War Zone. The provincial council elections could be a means to reaching a solution to the ethnic conflict through power sharing or devolution of power. But going by the recently concluded elections held in the North Central and Saburagamo provinces, this may seem to be an excuse for party supporters to attack political opponents. In our first report on the No War Zone today, we raise the question, is this democracy or violence? The August 23rd North Central and Saburagamo Provincial Council elections are over, bringing victory to the government and disappointment to the opposition. This time too, opposition party members have highlighted the issue of whether these elections can be considered free or fair. And one indicator to support that is the violence that accompanied the campaigns of all the parties who contested. Although election day itself was described as peaceful, this was not the case in the weeks leading up to it. An announcement by the election commissioner that he would order a repoll in areas where violence occurred, as well as his decision to strengthen law enforcement in the areas that recorded high levels of violence throughout the campaign, had a positive impact where election day at least was a relatively peaceful one. At a press conference held two days before the polls, the Center for Monitoring Election Violence provided an overview of the incidents so far. In every election since we've monitored, beginning with the Vamba, the local government elections, sorry, before Vamba, and then the provincial council elections after Vamba, ten years ago, there are certain electorates or polling divisions in the country in both the North Central Province as well as in the Sabragambo Province that continue to be areas that are prone to high levels of violence. Because of the gravity of that violence, people are going to be scared to come out. Now these are issues that we need to take into account if we are really serious about the freeness and fairness of an election. And just a few hours after the meeting, more incidents of violence continued to occur, with all the parties guilty of perpetrating them. Elections, if you look at the utterances of the political leaders, elections are there for people to grab power, take power, give us power. So therefore elections have been naturally generated violence. The provincial council elections are designed to strengthen the provinces and give the people of the regions better say in decisions that affect them in their localities. However, this did not seem to be the only objective of the North Central and Saburagamo polls. This was an election held to promote the national campaign of the president to go along with the war or to prosecute the war in a better manner with the support of the people. So it had nothing to do with the provincial needs. And I really don't know why a provincial council election was held to get that national mandate. To get the national mandate, one should have a referendum. Was the North Central and Saburagamo provincial election held to gain a national mandate for the war or with the intent of empowering the provinces? We spoke to a government minister to get a response to this notion. The national issues were also considered. I think that should be the correct scenario in an election. Although it is a provincial election, even the national issues have to be considered by the water for the reason that you know the, the the victory in the provincial council election will really strengthen the central government. Any defeat in the provincial council election will definitely weaken the central government. The policy that has been carried out by this government has won the confidence of the people. Because what happened in the East is considered by the people as a very acceptable and appreciable uh, feature. Now in the Eastern province, which was under the LTT domination, was cleared from the LTT and rescued from the LTT, then now there is a political uh, administration that is being run by a uh, provincial council which is being headed by a, a minority member. 
so that uh, this development that have taken place in the east has convinced the people in other areas that the government has a genuine sincere solution to this problem pertaining to those areas and people think that you know this is a problem that this country has been baffled for the last 25 years so there must be some uh, acceptable solution to it and there must be a policy which is strong enough to convince the nation that the policy is can be implemented by this government so that conviction is there among the people of the country the fact remains that despite the rising cost of living and increased incidents of violence people did respond to the president's call to support the war according to one resident of the anuradhapura district it is because they hope that this will bring them a greater sense of security in the future මම හිතන්නේ සාමාන්‍ය ජනතාව ජීවත් වෙන්නේ ඉතින් ඒගොල්ලන්ට බලපාපු ගොඩාක් ප්‍රශ්න කීපයක් තියෙනවා. ඒ කියන්නේ පළවෙනි දේ තමයි යුද්ධය. යුද්ධය කියන්නේ දැන් සාමාන්‍ය ජනතාව ජීවත් වෙන ප්‍රදේශවල යුද්ධය තිබුණා. එතකොට දැන් පවතින රජය වෙනස් වුණා නම් සාමාන්‍ය යුද්ධය ආපහු වෙන අතකට යන්න පුළුවන්. දැන් සාමාන්‍ය ජනතාවගේ ජීවිත වලට යුද්ධය කියන එක නැති වෙලා තියෙන්නේ. ඒ කියන්නේ මේ ජීවත් වෙන ප්‍රදේශවලින් යුද්ධය ඇතට ගිහිල්ලා එතකොට ඒගොල්ලෝගේ සාමාන්‍ය කටයුතු එදිනදා කටයුතු හොඳට කරගෙන යන්න පුළුවන් ක්‍රම කෙ තියෙනවා In the meantime one way to ensure free and fair elections in the future would be to call for the full implementation of the 17th amendment and the establishment of independent commissions to oversee the police the judiciary and elections I'm not saying everything will disappear within 24 hours with the implementation of the 17th amendment to the constitution but it will be the beginning it will be the beginning where you give assurance to the public servants to the police and create an electoral process where they are uh, responsible to all the political parties in power and all the political parties registered under the election uh, law of this country uh, the accountability and we can all participate to ensure that we can have a transparent process